is um, we're going to be releasing him in the same place that we did with the possums. Well, we're going to put him on, like, fall so he doesn't come back. Right. That's so we're just going to take the chickens out and then we're going to go from there. Okay. And I'm so sorry for doing this to you. Um, usually when Josh is here, I'm the I'm just holding the camera and everything, but um, he's not here today, so he I gotta work. Whoa, that just, I gotta work with what I have, you know. Yeah. So I'll be doing a lot with my selfie stick and my hands. All right, we have all these chickens roaming around everywhere. They're crazy. I'm calling this rooster. <laughs> recommend if, if you're not used to this make sure you have gloves on make sure you stay safe because you never know all right you don't want to get bit all right let's take this guy out Ooh. yeah it's gonna be hard oh oh don't forget oh he stays mad. He stays mad. He stays mad now. He stays mad. Huh? My friend and this and this raccoon back there. Look at him. You can't really see him, but poor little guy is so scared. So what do you think, Gail? Huh? This is so exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Because yeah? we never done this and daddy's not here to help us out, right? <laughs> what do you do when daddy's not home? Well, daddy has taught us right. He has taught us correct. He has taught us that we figure it out, right, Leo? Oh, that's 
was cute. So what are we going to do? I don't freaking know. We need daddy. We need daddy. All right, guys. So a lot, a lot happened right now. I mean, it was just crazy. Um, so the trap got kind of like stuck, and then we had to flip it over and try to see if it would work like that. It was growling at me. It was. I mean, Josh is gonna laugh when he sees this video. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. You taught me better than this, but holy cow, I was not going to be able to do that. I mean, um, we had to uh, call the guy who, who has cows behind our, our house, and um, they're really good with that stuff. It almost bit That's him to caught it, but no, it was crazy. Um, we had like a inspector person, a county inspector person that passed by. He, he was like, no, you're tougher than me. You're out here hanging out with him, and um, I can't do that. I'm not going to do that. So, um, so that's when um, those guys came in and... Um, the yeah they came in and they released that thing but that thing was jump it was about to attack the guy that was opening the cage it took two of two of them two guys to open that cage and release that raccoon um that raccoon was pissed he was mad he is probably never coming back he probably hates me he's gonna remember my face forever but um that's pretty much it guys if you guys go out there into the wild be safe guys don't mess with animals animals won't mess with you unless you mess with them um if you guys set traps like these be ready for anything to happen because they can get jammed from getting jammed from the, your partner not being there from um the animals getting aggressive because you wouldn't want to be in a cage either right so be ready for all these things all right keep the kids away um in a safe distance probably in the car away from you because you never know what can happen you know this raccoon like i told you he almost bit the the people the person and he was growling back and forth he was really upset so they say when they get really aggressive like that that means that they're sick and things like that but who knows i don't know um make sure you wear gloves protect yourself blah blah, blah. but all right guys i'll see you on the next one be yourself and stay true to yourself and stay safe bye guys <laughs>